RuPaul's Drag Race Lip Sync Breakdown. Lip Sync Breakdown. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Lip Sync Breakdown. This is the show where I'll be breaking down every single lip sync from the newest episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 11. This was insane. Girl, like what was going on? <laughs> I have never seen so many bottoms on one stage since the reunion of Backstreet Boys. Like what the fuck? Ru must have been really pissed, really, to put all the freaking queens that pretty much bombed the challenge in the bottom, like, <sighs> damn, damn. Let's get into it. Before we do, please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And of course, you can always follow me on the Instagram, on the Instagram, on the Instagrams, and download my music for free on SoundCloud. I'll post the links down below. This week, Akira Raja, Sugarcane, Scarlet Pastique, and Honey Davenport landed in the bottom. The lifting song, Waiting for Tonight by Jennifer Lopez. I am pissed that they did not choose the original version of this song. I love this song and I was actually waiting for them to do this song, but they decided to go with the remix and I was so pissed. I was so pissed when I saw that on the screen. I was like, no! <sighs> Just like that. No! This remix repeats the same like three words over and over again. <sighs> Even RuPaul can do this song. And she barely remembers anything. What was I saying? I kind of want to go through all the looks, but that would take too long. So let's just do like a speed round, okay? It looks like something Latrice would wear. So yeah. I didn't think she could get any wider, but obviously I was wrong. Pocahontas did it better. This was actually cute. She is going to have a huge career at a car wash. Six queens lip syncing on a stage is way too many. Like you can barely tell who is doing bad and who is doing bad. I think they should have had three queens at a time lip sync because this is not satisfying and I can barely focus on any one of them. And it's not because I'm drunk. I can't feel my face. Scarlett's wig reveal is kind of cool, but it doesn't even make an impact because she's white. No, because there's too many queens and you can't really focus on what everybody's doing. So it just kind of gets lost. Whipping your hair around is a great way to make sure that nobody sees the fact that you don't know the words. I mean, why do you think Britney does so many hair flips? That looked like it hurt. That actually looked like it hurt. But RuPaul is unimpressed. <laughs> like, what does it take to impress RuPaul? Oh yeah, insensitive and problematic jokes. You noticed she wasn't raped till she was in the bottom too. Think about that bitch. Honey is the only queen to take off her shoes. And isn't that like an automatic disqualification when you lip sync? You know who outperformed everybody? Scarlet's wig. So I guess Honey did the worst. That is what the edit is telling me. So, I mean, I have no other source and I have no other choice but to believe what it's telling me because I wasn't there. But I feel like the whole situation was really fair for her. If she would have been at least in a three-way lip sync, then I guess they could have said, okay, you did the worst. But I mean, you can't really focus on anybody when there's six people on stage. It's kind of hard to do that. So I just wish she would have had like a like a better opportunity to lip sync for her life. Literally everyone but Honey was declared the winner of the lip sync. Like I think even the PA in the bag was declared the winner. Honey Davenport is the third queen to sashay away. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. Thank you for tuning in and watching me struggle through this whole video. I cannot lift my hands up further than this. Like, I'm literally stuck right here. I mean, I can't do much. I feel like pheromone. I'm just kidding. She can do a lot. I mean, 
she can cry. Just kidding, girl. I love her. Anyways, um, yeah, please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And of course, let me know what you guys thought of this uh, whole lip sync, shebangle, crackle, buffoonery, goopery. Let me know because I want to know what you guys thought. I want to know if you thought it was just for gags or if you want to be gagged. Just let me know. Uh, I'll be back next week with the lip sync breakdown of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 11, Episode 4. Bye!